Are you interested in possibly getting one of these two insanely popular small companion breeds? Or maybe you just want to learn a little bit more about them? Well, stay in tune as in this video we're going to be comparing the French Bulldog and the Pug to help decide which breed might be best for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the incredible French Bulldog, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect French Bulldog companions. So if you love the French Bulldog as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then let's dive into today's video and discover the differences and similarities between the French Bulldog and the Pug. Now French Bulldogs have a really unique appearance and they are almost unmistakable with their large bat-like ears. They have noses that are setting close to their faces and a tiny yet muscular figure. French Bulldogs can also grow up to 23 inches tall and weigh up to 28 pounds. Their coats are short with coarse hair and that comes in many different colour variations such as solids, brindles, piebalds, fawn and some even with tan points. The pug is also somewhat unique in its appearance. They have a square body shape with that smushed up nose like the French Bulldog with a black mask over their face and dark big eyes. Their ears are small and flop down on the sides of their heads. The pug also has some distinctive wrinkles on their face and sometimes on their bodies and their tails are curled and tend to curl up onto their back. The pug can be up to 13 inches tall and can weigh up to around 18 pounds. Their coats are also short and come in silver, fawn, apricot or all black. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video guys, I just wanted to let you know if you haven't done it already, over on our website FenrirCanineLeaders.com we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching so let's look at their exercise and grooming requirements and where they differ and when it comes to exercise the frenchie will be a little less demanding as they tend to be a little bit more on the calmer side and while the pug needs regular exercise, they are fine with a good walk or running around a fenced-in yard. However, it is essential to remember that both of these breeds have very short faces. We call this brassiophallic. This means that they can easily have problems breathing while exercising, especially when it's hot or very humid outside. Now, moving on to their grooming needs, the Frenchie is going to be the easier one as well. They only require very occasional brushing, but they do shed pretty regularly. For the pug, they will need to be brushed out weekly, and it is especially important to make sure that nothing gets trapped in the folds of their skin that can cause irritation or even worse, infections. And pugs are also very regular shedders. Now, both the Pug and French Bulldog can have some challenges when it comes to health-related issues. The French Bulldog's life expectancy is between 10 and 12 years, and the Pug has a little longer average life expectancy at 13 to 15 years. The biggest health problem with both of these breeds is what we talked about earlier with that facial structure and the issues that they can have with breezy breathing because of that brassiophallic issue. This makes getting exercise in, especially when it's hot, a real challenge. Obesity is also a rampant problem in both breeds, causing issues to their joints and then just overall quality of life. There are also genetic problems to be aware of. The French Bulldog can have hip or elbow dysplasia, various heart issues, knee problems, eye and skin issues are common and some skin related autoimmune diseases. Health issues for pugs include hip dysplasia, knee problems, eye problems, which are very common, heart problems, uh, and then a problem that causes inflammation specific to pugs that's in the brain. And then also pug myelopathy, which is a genetic defect in the spine that causes loss of mobility in the hindquarters. So then as we go forward with this video, it is with the assumption that the dog has been given proper socialization and training from a young age. We also kind of have to assume that the dog is of correct temperament and disposition for its breed standards for us to be able to make a fair comparison. 
Now, the French Bulldog and the Pug were both developed and refined as companion breeds, so these two are breeds that depend on human interaction. The Pug is generally friendly with everyone, while the French Bulldog can be a little more reserved and alert with strangers. But once they get over that introduction phase, they are very happy to make friends with everybody. The Frenchie is also an adaptable and often very consistent breed. These little dogs have big personalities and can even be considered quirky at times. The Pug is an ideal house dog. They tend to get along with everyone and are pretty calm. They are also real charmers with a real loving nature about them. So then let's take a look at intelligence and trainability then. Well then both of these breeds can be a little complicated to train. They love to please their people but they might need some additional motivation. They tend to do better if there is something else to motivate them and if the process is made to be a very fun one. The Frenchie in particular can be especially stubborn, so sometimes it can be hard to motivate them to do something that they have little interest in doing. So I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of the differences between these two glorious little companion breeds. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And remember, if you're new here, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We've got two new French Bulldog videos coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog Show.